Welcome to October's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is House Robber 2. You are a robber planning to rob houses along a street. Each house has, has a certain amount of money stashed. All houses at this place are arranged in a circle. So that's going to be the difference between House Robber 1 and 2. So that means the first house is the neighbor of the last one. So there's a security system where it will contact the police if two adjacent houses are broken into on the same night. We want to try to find the maximum amount of money we can rob without alerting the police. All right, so normally when you solve this problem, it's a DP solution. Basically, what we'll do is have a array or um, that's going to store the amount of profit that we could have made the two previous houses before, the total amount of profit. So here it starts off at zero, right? Now at one, we're going to ask ourselves, should we rob this house and take the profit and the profit from two houses before? or skip this house and take the profit that we made from robbing the house uh, previous. So here they're both zero, so it doesn't matter. We're just gonna rob this house. And at two, this is where we ask ourselves, should we rob this house and take whatever we had two houses before or take what we had one house before? So here we can see clearly we wanna take two. Now what about three? Should we rob this house and take this house profit here? That's gonna be four, or should we take this profit? And that's two, so obviously we'll take four. And here would say, okay, should we take the profit from here and get this profit, or should we take that profit from the house previous? And four is larger than three, right? So oh, we'll take four. And we just return that. That's going to be the total amount. Now, that's the solution to regular house robber. But how would we do this if there was a circular uh, house houses involved? Well, the basic idea is since then we're not going to be able to rob the first house and the last house right so all we really need to do is go through our list twice uh, with the first one starting from the first house and skipping that last house and the second pass starting from the second house and going all the way to the last house and that way we'll take care of that weird edge case where we can't rob these two end houses before so let's start off by just initializing our first solution what we'll do is first take care of some edge cases. We'll say if not nums, we return zero. And if the length of nums equals one, then we should just return whatever is in nums. Now, we'll, we could use an array, but I'm just gonna use two variables because we only care about the last two positions and we're gonna shift it inside of our iteration. So for n in nums, we will first store our dp1 because dp1 is the house previous and dp2 is going to be two houses previous and we want to shift that as we go along so we have to store this dp1 in case it gets updated so dp1 now get the max between dp2 plus profit here or should we keep dp1 and the reason i stored uh, dp1 as a temp here is because it could get updated right we don't want that to happen because what we're going to do is update dp2 to become dp1. So we need to store that information from before. Okay, so once we finish that, we can just return dp1. And this here, oh, ah, so as temp. This here we get four, right? But this isn't right because what this is the first run thought was, well, we should rob this first house and the last house. But we can't do that, remember? Um, this would work in the first house robber, but second house robber, this doesn't work. So again, what we'll do is go through it twice. Um, we'll just have the same algorithm here. But what we'll do is call these something else, DPP. And return the max between these two. But for this one, we will only go to the second last house. And for this one, we'll start off with the second house. And that way we can take care of that weird situation where we don't, we can't rob the first and second house. So this should return three. And it does, let's go and submit that. And accepted. Yeah, so once you, um, I mean, it, the, the hint is in here. Basically, if we, can take care of this problem where uh, house we can't 
we need to figure out uh, should, could we rob either house one and um, the second to last house or should we rob house two and the last house after that the problem problem gets degenerated to the regular house robber so if you know the solution to the house robber you should be able to come up with some way to do that uh, there are some other ways uh, but this I think I found the most intuitive and it's constant space and all of end time complexity all right so thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me I know nothing